Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video for all of you guys and girls out there that have the walk snail system. Now, the firmware has been changing quite quickly as I'm recording this. However, it seems to have slowed down. They've got quite a few things they're currently working on. But one of the first things that you have to do when you get your new walk snail system is do the firmware update to the latest and greatest. And there's a slightly different version uh, that goes on the goggles and there's a different file that goes on the uh, avatar kit, the airside unit too. Now, the process itself is already shown on the website in quite a bit of detail. But I know the first time that I did it, there's always a little bit of trepidation. Your heart beats a little bit faster because you spent all this money on this HD system. And then you're flashing it and you're got, you sat there with your fingers crossed, hoping nothing gets bricked. So let me show you the individual steps. It actually isn't that tricky. It's pretty straightforward and simple. One thing I would recommend is that whenever you're doing this, both the airside unit, the avatar, and also the goggles have to be powered through the process and you don't want that to be interrupted. So make sure that you're using fully charged batteries. And also for the air unit, I also use a little fan just to keep it cool while it's doing it. Although the airside unit, the update at the moment seems to take a fraction of the time it does for the goggles. So let me go through the process. I'll put time codes down below if you're interested and show you what actually happens. So the first thing we need to do is to go on to the WalkSnail website, go into the support area and scroll down and you'll find there's a couple of files down here. One called avatar underscore GND, that's going to be for the goggles. And the other one is called avatar underscore sky. And that is the one that is going to be for the avatar kit of the airside unit. So you need to download both of those and pop them somewhere onto your computer. Once you've got those two files, then you need to pop the SD card out of the goggles and then put that into the computer and copy the avatar GND file with whatever numbers are after it onto that SD card and then pop the card back into your goggles. If you're having issues, then I would recommend going and formatting the SD card in the goggles, go into settings, record set, format, format SD card. But if you've already been using the SD card in the goggles, you don't need to do that. Once you have it on the SD card, pop it back into the goggles and then power the goggles up and wait for it to go through the standard kind of setup startup routine. Once it has, then find something to press in the bind button, press it in for about eight seconds and you'll see the screen just before eight seconds is up, go black and the whole goggle system will reboot. And once it's rebooted, then after a short moment, it'll start to beep. The beeping is letting you know that the update is happening and you just leave them there. Now, the update, the latest one that I've just done, uh, took about four, nearly five minutes. So this is why it's definitely worthwhile having your battery fully charged. At the end, there is a long drawn out beep to let you know that everything has gone to plan and then the goggles will reboot. Final thing you have to do, go into the menu, go into the settings menu and do a reset all that's quite important just to make sure that there's no settings in the goggles from the other version that is incompatible so with the goggles updated then the next job is to update the avatar itself and the thing with this is that you do need to have it powered so make sure again the battery that you're about to power it from is fully charged the other thing you need is the little usb cable that came with it make sure that you don't throw that away you need to plug that into the side because that needs to plug in the computer and it will just appear like a usb thumb drive again drag the file over the new firmware file and that's going to be called avatar underscore sky and once that's done eject it from the pc and then what you need to do is to hold the bind button on the back of the unit and press and hold it for about eight seconds initially it'll be just flashing the standard green led once you've pressed it for eight seconds that led will go off and then the red led will come on to let you know that the update is happening once it is complete the green led will then continue to flash i've occasionally had issues where once i've gone through the update process i have had to go and rebind and that's simply with everything powered up you briefly press the bind button here on the goggles briefly press it on the avatar unit and it rebinds again. So hopefully that is how it all works. It's pretty straightforward. 
relatively quick on the Avatar Air unit, but on the goggles, it's taking about four or five minutes. So if you do this and your goggles are just sat there beeping and beeping for minute after minute, don't panic. That's completely normal. It'll eventually get to the end, long beep reboot, and you'll be on the latest version with all the latest features. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.